Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry the Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like the video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Weez GNZ Gaming, Maori Superman YT, and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform. And I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the Shapeshifter V mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. The only requirements that you would need is the latest version for native UI. So I will leave this inside my description below as well. This mod is really easy to install, so follow my steps. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Next, if you do not have a scripts folder, simply right click, go to new, then go to folder, and now create a new folder and name that folder scripts make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase open up your scripts folder and now let's begin remember to install native ui.dll and xml into your scripts folder Next, open up your shapeshifter extract folder, then drag your DLL file into your scripts folder, and now exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your Gradif Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and now that's all you gotta do and I'll see you in the game and now we are in the game so before we do start anything you will need to activate the mod now to activate the mod you will need to go on your keyboard and press the tilde key now if you don't know what is a tilde key then it is the key that is on your keyboard on the left hand side right up top in the corner where it says escape and it's right underneath escape okay so press on the tilde key and you'll see the cheat code okay now type in shape shifter okay then press enter and it will say up top on your left hand side Activated, and then now you'll need to find someone that you want to change bodies with. Okay, uh, we will try the police officer over there. Now, unfortunately, you cannot have any weapons, so you will need to be unequipped because you will need to do a stealth kill. So, do a stealth and then go behind someone then now uh, attack like that and now I am a police officer 
see and now that's pretty cool and the mod does work 100% no errors whatsoever and you'll still get the weapons and then there you go so it's a quick way of changing characters and welcome back everybody so I hope you do enjoy the mod it's an awesome mod now this mod is really easy to install and really easy to use so you cannot go wrong with this mod but as always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA B or Cyberpunk then I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well unfortunately I'm not active inside my YouTube comments I am more active inside my discord server so I will leave my discord server link inside my description below so you guys can join and can get fast help so with that said if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.